hello friends welcome back to my channel so we are back with another interesting tutorial okay so in today's tutorial we are going to talk about uh, kubernetes architecture okay so for those who doesn't know what is kubernetes uh, kubernetes is a container orchestration tool so we can say kubernetes uh, is managed to containerize workloads and services and it is an open source platform okay so uh, if you have seen my previous tutorial uh, we have gone through how to set up a mini cube on CentOS machine right so and also we have seen how to set up basic deployment and services ports uh, we spoke about a lot of things in my previous tutorial right so before I get into more in-depth of kubernetes I thought this tutorial we talk about how the kubernetes architecture will look like so and how the uh, no, communication happens so it's easy for you guys to understand okay so before I get into deep uh, for architecture side I, I would request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment okay so kubernetes architecture uh, when we spoke there are a lot of components which uh, we will see in this architecture okay so let's start with some of the key components okay so when uh, an architecture or kubernetes structure uh, is uh, given to you there will be major two things one will be a kubernetes master or a control plane and there will be worker nodes okay so let's talk about kubernetes master first okay so the master uh, or control plane uh, maintains the record of all kubernetes object okay and uh, this uh, if you see like in uh, docker swarm we have master and uh, worker nodes right the master control the uh, how the uh, containers or services are created in the nodes right how the nodes are managed so similar way in kubernetes also the master uh, do the lo a lot of management stuff okay so the main components uh, are three components in the master which is uh, one is kube api server and there will be a controller manager and there should be a scheduler okay and we will be also seeing uh, something called etcd or, or uh, key store in uh, kubernetes uh, master so this is mainly used for as a distributed storage system okay or uh, it's a key store to keep the cluster state uh, consistent or stores the uh, states of the cluster okay so let's see how the master will look like okay so if you see this is how uh, kubernetes uh, master if you consider this uh, red box as a kubernetes master it will have uh, four main components one is a controller manager right which controls uh, all the nodes and uh, other uh, connections to the kubernetes master right so and there's a kube api server which is the front end of the kubernetes master which you can connect okay and there should be a kube scheduler so the scheduler uh, will do the, all the scheduling of your uh, nodes or the uh, things which connects to the master right okay so in the etcd as we spoke uh, it's do the management uh, of the key store or the state uh, things of the whole uh, cluster now let's see what uh, components we have it in a worker okay so in a worker node we have a kubelet okay which is the primary and most important uh, controller in the kubernetes and this is responsible for driving the containers typically you know when the when we spoke about the container layer, uh, layer is a uh, docker in kubernetes you can also use other container layers okay so kubec kubelet is the main uh, part of it and uh, pod pod is the smallest deployment unit of uh, computing that you see in uh, kubernetes so uh, a pod can run one or more containers okay so we'll uh, we have already seen about pod in my previous tutorial and uh, a service so service is a way to expose an application running on a set of pod uh, as a network service okay so let, let's see about this uh, you know uh, more detail in the diagram okay so if you we spoke about the kubernetes master right so master will be connected to different nodes so for example in my case i have uh, uh, taken two nodes one is a uh, worker node one and the other one is a uh, worker node two okay so uh, 
so if you see this uh, components in worker right so we have uh, in work worker node we have kubelet right and we have a kube proxy and we have a uh, docker as a container layer which is in the gray color and on the docker we are running the ports right and inside the ports we have this uh, black dots or black square boxes which are the containers okay so a single port can have a single container or you can have multiple containers as well so if you have more than one containers those are should be tightly coupled and those should be a base for one application usually so it will be tough for if you have uh, multiple uh, containers for different application running on the same port for the communication okay okay so let's see more if you see you know from the ip table we have service and it's going to the internet right so let's consider this internet as a user right so a user access through the internet and he want to access an application right so when we create a kubernetes deployment okay so when you deploy an application in kubernetes it's create a pod inside any one of the worker node or depending upon your replication can be on multiple workers as well okay so inside the pod you will have a containers as well so okay so when you create this pod by default it will not be exposed to outside internet because it will get a cluster ip which is internal to kubernetes okay and what happens is in uh, your kubernetes there is something called ip table right in uh, uh, which defines the ip which is a uh, cube proxy will tell you know, you assign an ip for uh, this pod uh, in this way so what we do is we convert those pods or the deployment as a service so we uh, use another command in kubectl or you create a manifest file and you convert your application as a service so using that service so we should be able to access the application to the outside internet so this is how oh, the workflow happens by default so uh, now you have understood what is a cube um, that is master and worker nodes and how the worker nodes will have uh, multiple ports and each uh, ports will have uh, containers and the cube proxy will define uh, the ip tables and the ip address will be assigned to each uh, port right and the services will uh, will be used to expose these ports to the outside internet okay now this is the mini cube uh, which we had uh, set up uh, in my previous tutorial and if you uh, run this uh, uh, command kubectl uh, cluster info okay it should be cluster hyphen info now if you see we have a uh, only kubernetes master running here right we don't have any nodes because this is a mini cube setup and we don't have uh, nodes added to it so if you have a uh, kubernetes running on aws or any uh, structures where you have multiple servers you will have uh, both master and nodes and the uh, master i would say let's uh, we should keep it only for managing the nodes and all the containers should be running on the uh, nodes not on the master now if you run the command kubectl get nodes you, sh you can see the nodes running right so we have only just one node which is the master node not the worker node right and you can also see like kubectl get pods you can see there is one pod which is for test mini cube which is uh, pending so it's not a completed yet so but i just want to show you what is a pod right and you can also see kubectl get deployments You can see there is a deployment called test mini cube so actually this deployment has created this pod so you can create the pod uh, directly as a static one or you can also you know the pod will be created by default when you create a deployment okay but you will not be able to access this application outside to the internet because deployment is not exposed so what you need to do is you need to have a service okay so if you run get svc you have uh, something called test mini cube and it's exposed the node port right so we can access this at uh, 31261 uh, port number so this is how uh, we can expose uh, your deployments uh, 
as a service to the internet so to go back to the diagram so we already spoke about the kubernetes master which have controller manager cube api server scheduler and etcd which is the key store can you have uh, multiple worker nodes and the worker will have a uh, kubelet cube proxy and the docker layer okay and uh, it will have the ports running and inside the ports you will have containers right and uh, if you have seen like uh, in the section which i showed the ports you know it will have uh, uh, we can expose the ports using the service right the ports are usually created using the deployment and uh, you know the ip tables will assign the ip address for the ports and uh, we can convert uh, these ports into an external connection as a service and we'll be able to access the application through the outside internet right so to finish i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and um, i would thank you for watching and i will also request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment